Australian police have released footage of an anti-terror raid resulting in the arrests of two men. As a result of the raids, a 20-year-old man and a 15-year-old boy have been charged with conspiracy to conduct an act of terrorism. The footage released by New South Wales police shows this man sitting handcuffed on the floor in front of a house in the Sydney suburb of Raby. Three other men, all of them already in custody on terrorism-related offences, will also be charged in connection with the raids. In a news conference, police said the plots could have targeted government buildings as well as attacks on random civilians. It's disturbing that we're continuing to see teenage children in this environment and there's absolutely no doubt that the fact that we're charging a 15-year-old with a very, very serious offence, this, this is an offence that has a maximum of life imprisonment. This is concerning not only to us in law enforcement, but this should be concerning to everybody. This comes as former Prime Minister Tony Abbott warns that the Islamic State is the biggest threat to world security. Islamic State, or the death cult, as it's now increasingly called, thrives on conflict. Conflict is what it exists for. The bloodier, the better. And conflict will continue until it's destroyed. That's why it's currently the biggest threat to the world's peace and stability. Australia's been on heightened alert for attacks by homegrown radicals since last year. And raids like this show Australia is serious about clamping down on the terror threat.